I'm Amelia, I teach Global Issues here at the Women's Semester, and Global Issues is a class that looks at a lot of things that are going on around the world um, nowadays, and also kind of how they've evolved through history. So we dive into economics, we dive into international development, we dive a little bit into the environment, um, but a couple overarching themes throughout Global Issues are two things in particular. One is the idea of interconnectedness. that everyone around the world is interconnected because we're such a globalized world today and that means that all of our actions affect people close to us and around the world and also we are affected by people close to us and around the world and the actions that they perform. So we kind of like to think of that in all the different units that we study. And the second theme is this idea of multiple perspectives that everything that we hear about, that we do, that we talk about, everything that happens in the world there's always more than one side to it. My name is Greg Horowitz and I teach environmental science at the Woman Semester School. And I teach more than just environmental science. Um, I like to teach critical thinking and working in groups and other things which are lumped into sort of 21st century skills. And 21st century skills refers to sort of more than just facts and figures, um, more than just information. It's really a way of thinking, a way of uh, actually um, being able to apply that knowledge to any scenario. So it doesn't matter what you go into, uh, but with like good critical thinking skills and good sort of organization and good processing skills, you can succeed in a world that's changing so quickly. So we're constantly developing new technologies and new fields are opening up and old fields are getting eliminated. So really teaching to those higher sort of skills is a way to prepare students for an ever-changing world. My name is Jennifer Stone. I teach peace studies and um, the kind of stuff that we're talking about in our class, whether it's um, understanding power and privilege and oppression, um, whether it's using poetry um, and um, essays as a tool for social change, um, whether it's looking at how we can cultivate inner peace and self-care and how that is radical activism in and of itself. Um, these are all of the, the tools and the ideas um, and the skills and the values that I just wish that I had um, when I was in high school. We're trying to two, do two really difficult things at once. On one hand, we're trying to see the world clearly as it is. We're trying to, to understand things like racism and like sexism and like um, discrimination against transgender people and, and all of these sort of isms and, and the way they work. Um, and recognize 
systems of power and and what we can do to kind of dismantle them. So we're having really hard conversations about that stuff, while at the same time we're trying to sort of interact in ways um, that sort of create the world that we want to see um, and and imagine different possibilities and, and act as if that's possible. how often things change and how often there's new events and new um, new things both positive and negative that we should look at in the world we'll kind of have this idea that I am connected to everything and everything's connected to me and therefore um, I should care about it and I should look into it and I should look into it from more than one side This is the most exciting stuff I think that I could be teaching and in some ways I tried to create a class that would be like the class that I needed to have um, in high school and it's so much more than, you know, it's an English class and we read and we write and we discuss ideas but um, it's, it's a class about ourselves and our world and, and how do we see it clearly for what it is and how do we create it so that it is um, more just and that's kind of what we're tasked with in class and it's really important, exciting work and I feel really blessed to be um, at the school engaging in these questions and learning from these young people.